Okay. So, um, hope you guys are all doing well tonight. And I hope you're ready to open up your mics and talk and participate because this is going to be one of those things where I haven't, I, you know, I've only got as much information as all of you. And so we're all just kind of trying to remember, okay, so where are we right now on, on, oops, on this line, right? And where are we each on each of these? Now, we'll start with Acts 27, but first I want to get your opinion because there's two, I found two different Acts 27. Um, I mean, I found a lot of them, but um, there's a simple one where we've got Adramidium for it starts at 1989. We've got 9-11, Panium and the Midnight Cry and Sunday Law. And this is all from verses uh, one through five of Acts 27. We have the Alexandria that goes from 1798, um, where it turn, takes a turn at 1863. And then we have the Sunday Law. And then it shows the compare and contrast of the line, lines of the institutions. And then we have this very detailed one, which talks about all the different, you know, it still has the simple part uh, where we've got the turn, we've got um, Adramidium and Alexandria, but it goes into um, more detail. This one might be easier, although it looks um, cluttered and complicated. If we look at it and study it, it gives us more clues. So do you guys have an opinion which one we, we should work on, um, the simple one or the more detailed one? I like the more detailed one, personally. Okay. Yeah, me too. Anybody else have an opinion? Okay, let's see. Let me... I like the detailed one. Cool. Thank you for your input. Appreciate it. Okay, let's, we're going to zoom in here a bit so everybody can see it. So is that readable? Let's see if I can get in a little bit closer without losing anything. How about that? Is that readable? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yes. yes. Awesome. Okay. So let's talk about this. Do you guys, um, it's, it's been a while since we've been through um, Acts 27. But we can all remember that, you know, they went through Caesarea and Sidon and Panium, or not Panium, but they went through Cyprus. And we called that Panium, and then they cry. And um, Myra, Lycia, and that was the Sunday law. Let's see, at Caesarea, they, um, we had the Felix and Festus, which we call, which is equal to the USA. Um, which is uh, also Reagan and Bush, and Agrippa and SDA. Sidon, we had the refreshing. And then, let's see, for um, Sicilia and Pamphylia, let's see, we've got the overturning, a nation made up of every tribe. And then we've got the U.S. coming up, and the UN going down, let's see, and turning into a dictatorship. We've got bitterness, that was um, bitterness extracting uh, bright white and harvest. Those were the definitions of uh, Myra and Lycia. And then for Alexandria, Alexandria meant, oh, okay, and then Adrian, Adramidia meant to abide in death. Alexandria meant protector or defender of people. We've got Alexandria, which is the wheat, USA Adventism, Myra and Lycia, bitterness and harvest. That was in, let's see, right here, 1961, or, or that can't be 1961, that would have to be 1861. And you've got 1863 in the middle, uh, between 61 and 65 for um, Snidus, how you say that. And then we've got um, between here, we've got 
Pre Simone Simone and the wise the the people in the ship, the the three besides the the all the sailors and stuff were uh, Paul um Artic I can't pronounce his name very good. Aristarchus, Aristarchus and Luke. Okay, and then let's see, there was another eight thing here. I wonder what was on the other side. Because I thought this was like the middle between 89 and 90, and then this would have to be 87. I wonder what happened at 87. So I thought there were like two um, cat, um, chiasms there, but I, I can't remember for sure. And we've got the East Wind 911, um, Clydon, and then we have Raphia for the night. And over here, Panium and Shipwreck. And so, I don't know, any comments so far? I, I almost feel like we need to go back and review um, Acts 27. I don't know. Um, so where are we? Um, back on this one. On the well, big line, oh. where are we? Well, uh, hello. Yes, I, I can hear. Um, wouldn't we be between Raphia and Panim? Definitely, definitely. And so that would be right between here. You're right, exactly. And um, we're well, they're kind of. I don't know, we, we're kind of under the assumption that it's a two-year period. It, am I correct? Is, is everybody else getting that, that it's a two-year period between Raphia and Panium? Because it wasn't Raphia um, November um, 9th of 19, or 2019, right? November 9th of 2019? Yes. And then Panium, are we thinking it's November 9th or somewhere around there of 2021? Do we have well, a date for Panium? No, I don't think we have a date except for 2021. 2021, yeah. okay. So it could be a month longer or it could be shorter. Well, it could be any time, right? In 2021, we 2020. don't have an event and we don't have a date. And the Men I Cry was two years ago. It was in 2018. So that's right. why we have a two-year period from 2018 to to 2021 is my was my thought uh i thought my understanding was based on that okay no i thought my understanding was the two-year period was from 2019 to 2021 2019 2020 21 oh yeah yeah you're right that is two years sorry i was counting 2018 to 2021 as two years but you're right i'm wrong <laughs> Um, well, that's and that's why we're working through this so we can um, figure out because um, we, we've been through so much information. Sometimes we have to go back and, and you know, mm -hmm. kind of circle around it to, to get it solid in our minds. So, so we don't exactly have a date for Panium, but we do know that it's in, we, we believe it's in 2021. And I heard um, in a presentation the other day that I watched, and I'm still behind. So I was watching like something like uh, one, 145 or something right in there. And Elder Parminder was saying that we should be kind of really scared because we are um, like six months into the two, month, two year period. And or so he said, not six months in, but he said a quarter of the way through our two year period of uh, Jacob's time of trouble. And he, I don't think he used six months or two years, but he said a quarter of the way through our um, Jacob's time of trouble. And a lot of us haven't changed yet. And 
so a quarter of the way through would be about six months out of two years, right? And so that's what I was getting from that. And he just said that um, in, like, like I said, in around video uh, 145, somewhere in there. And which one, which uh, presentation was that? I think, it, well, it was around 145. Um, I can't swear exactly, somewhere oh, between right. 143 and 147. So but that thinking, was long ago, that was in May. Was it? Okay. So yes, yeah, so it's a, it wasn't so it wasn't that long ago, just um just like last month and a half or two, so not that long ago, and when he said that that we were just uh, that we were already a quarter of the way through, and uh, Jacob's time of trouble, and a lot of us have not made that change yet. That um, what's the word he is a uh, there's that you know the big change. <laughs> Um, where we're where we've reconciled with ourselves, our, our sin, and, and gone through that. Um, oh, he used a word. I can't think of it though. You know where where we um, do what Jacob did and and wrestle with our sin and su and such. So anyway, that's that's where I'm getting like a, a, this two-year idea between Raphia and Panium. So, so we're all thinking that we're like right in between here, right? Yes. Sister Susan was asking what two FP on the top line under or on top of Panium means. Good question. Um, I would have to go back to the other document, to the original. What I did was I just, um, to get these lines, I went through several of um, Sister uh, Elaine's presentations from Guadalupe, and uh, you know I copied them from one of those documents. And this was probably um, Acts 27. And so I don't know the answer, but what, what, what could it be? Um, can't be formalization. What else is FP? It's something that we use all the time. I'm stumped. I don't know what it is either. Yeah, me too. Huh. I don't know, Sister Susan. <laughs> can you can you hear me? I can, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm using this old iPad because my computer died. Oh, no. um, but I'm getting a new one in a few more weeks. But I've not got the hang of this thing very good. Um, I wondered if it was two lines for priests or something like that. I don't, uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. On the 2FP. Yeah. I wondered if that meant two lines that because we were supposed to look at two lines for uh, modern Israel, right? Yeah, so what, we, what I've done is I've um, created a page for each of the different, um, oops, I'm too far out, I'm too far in, out. So what I've done is I've found a line for each of the different one. Okay, so I didn't find for that one, for, one for that, but I found one for uh, modern Israel, and 144,000, like that. So um, for each one of them. Yeah, these are great. I feel like I remember Tess said uh, times two uh, that we were to do the lines mods times two, something else times two. And I guess that means two for it which would make sense what you're looking at right here that's what i what i thought you were doing okay so um do, so what, would we be on both lines you know like okay so we figured out where we would be for alexandria like right here in between raffia and pania um do we need to find out where we are on the adraminium line too Would that, isn't that, that the isn't that the church? 
isn't that adramidium the ones that stay in the church structure? That's the United States in the church. Okay. Right. And and so I'm just going it, off memory, and I, I'm not sure. I appreciate. Yeah, that. Laodicea, the ones who st remain in that condition. So that wouldn't be us. We're in the movement. We onto the ship in Alexandria, right? So which one, um, Sister Linda, which one is Laodicea? Adramidium, right? Adramidium. Yeah, okay. it'd be Adramidium. Okay. Cool. Yeah, but I think we can still see where we would be in that process. And um, I think we'd still be right before Panium or Panium. Right. So it'd be right in here. Right. Uh huh. Okay. So, what? Sister Sue Ellen, there's no date for Panium, though, right? We don't have a date yet on that. No, just 2021. Yeah. But, but no. That would be one of the dates that we're working on with Islam, maybe, or no? Hmm, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure how it's connected. Thank you. But I think there is a connect. I kind of remember um, Sister Tess putting Islam in that time frame also, but I always think of of Panium as being just when the harvest of the Levites begins. I've still got some old, I, I'm retaining some old and I don't know whether some of the old is still not right, but I, I still remember Panium kind of being like the craziest battle that, where a lot of things are going on. Cause I remember, um, and, and this is, like I said, if, if I'm wrong, somebody straighten me out if this is no longer what we're seeing as Panium. But Panium was like um, the god Pan. And so all kinds of, you know, like pandemonium and like right now the pandemic. And I remember uh, it was a, that was a lead up to everything kind of going haywire. So it, it could bring in Islam, but I think Islam's going to be restrained. I think that's what our prediction's going to be. Is that correct? So I don't know either. I'm just talking it out. Yeah. Well, it's also where there's a deadly blow to the king of the south, but it takes two years or, you know, a couple of years. I mean, because you um, correlate that with 1989 to 1991 when there was a deadly blow <laughs> on the Soviet Union. Well, Panium's going to be a deadly blow on Putin and Russia, but it's going to take them a period of time to die. So, yeah, and, we're kind of watching that. Yeah. And they're, and they're all tied up with, it seems like, you know, in, as a, uh, in proxy in the Syrian war. It's all, Pat Panium is also gonna be the end of the Syrian war of that 10 year period. Oh, wow, okay. Thank you. So do these two red lines look correct um, of where we would be considering right now? Um, on Adramidium right here before Panium and then right here not too far after Raphia but before Panium in between. Yes, I think so. I'm, I'm, I kind of was thinking that the one between Raphia and Panium on the Alexandria might be a little bit more in the middle, but it's hard to know since we don't know what the date is of Panium. Right. Good point. Yeah. 
Move it over a bit. Cool. All right. So let's see. Um, I know there's a lot to learn. Oh, we can either move on to another one if we're comfortable with where we think we are on here, or um, do we need to talk about it more uh, to really cement it? Um, what do you think? I mean, I'm comfortable with where we put the lines, but is there is there any more issues that we need to um, come to terms with right here on Acts 27 before we move on to another one? Yes, Brother Jonathan wrote a note in the chat. Needs to be reviewed. Can you see it, Christine? Yeah, so um, the top one should be further left also, okay? Uh, it's a 21-year time period, and we are in the 20th year of that. Sorry to be right now. Oh, to the right. So, I'm sorry. So, the top one should be further to the right? No, I misunderstood. Yeah, because that time, that space in between 9-11 and Panium is 21 years, and so... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Quite close to, yeah. We should be like pretty close. Yeah, somewhere there. Okay. How about like that, you think? That looks good. That looks about right. Okay. And um, so is everybody comfortable with these two? Do we want to? Yes, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Anybody have any more comments? So anything else we need to bring up when we're here? Just a point on this east wind. Mm -hmm. um, what is that representing at 9-11 it says? That was the restraint. The restraint on Islam? Yes, during 9-11 um, because they brought out the, um, what was that? But, um, I can't think of the, the freedom of, was it freedom of something? I want to say information, that's not it. Um, or is it the yeah, Patriot, it the Patriot, Patriot Act. Act? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Can, can I, it's probably a dumb question, but now's the time to ask if I don't know. <laughs> yes. yes. Why would the, the red line on uh, the bottom line not be more in correlation with the line at the top. Aren't we running parallel? Aren't those two lines, Adramidium and Alexandria, are running parallel, more or less? The space between, on the bottom Sorry. line. Sorry. The space on the bottom line between Raphia and Panium is only a two year period. Whereas the space on the top between those two lines is a 21 year period. Oh, I, I get it. Thank yeah. you. It's here's Panium here, and then Panium's over here. So these lines aren't lining up exactly. Yeah. Cool. It's a good observation. Because I thought, thought the th same thing when I uh, was copying these over. I'm like, um, but. Uh, but Lane did a, a whole lot of work on these, so I'm really grateful that we had these to go back to. Let's see. Any other questions or statements or comments um, that we should talk about on this? Okay. All right. Let's see. So next, zoom out. Okay. Um, I'm missing ancient Israel. Does anybody here have the line for ancient Israel? Because I, um, I just I ran out of time to go to find that one. So if anybody has that, you could share it in the chat, and I could uh, pop it in here, 
or we can move on to the next one, which is the beginning of modern Israel. And I do have that one. Anybody have an ancient Israel? Okay, so let's work on modern Israel. Let me zoom in here. Oops. Anyway. I'm feeling technically challenged. There we go. Okay. So modern Israel. And modern Israel would be the Millerite history, right? And we have this very long period, which would be the 1260, right? Between 538 and 1798, which would be the darkness. I'm not sure why the S, but S stands for scattering i bet it's a scattering gathering scattering yep okay and then we've got the gathering between 1798 and 1844 we have the um capsule message we've got miller um would this be disciples i'm not sure what the um, abbreviation here is disappointment Disappointment. Disappointment. Yes, yeah. awesome. I'm going to have to write that out because I'll put it down. Yes, uh, thank you. Okay. Let's see. And then so we've got another scattering. We've got from 1850 to 1863, we've got the organization and rejection of the message. In 1888, we've got Jones and Wagner, uh, James White dies. In 1888, we've got Butler and Smith. We've got a uh, scattering, the 126 year scattering from 1863 to uh, 1989. Okay, so what does this tell us? We need to find where we are and do we know where Rafia and Panium are on the Millerite history line? Um, I, I'm running a blank. I feel like my brain is just mush. <laughs> um, do, do we know where Panium and Rafia are on the Millerite history? I don't think that that's ever been established. I don't remember ever seeing it. Yeah, me neither. So I'm glad you said that. I, yeah, no, me I, too. I, I was like really like going, oh my goodness. I, I, I and I was trying to figure out where it would go. Yeah, yeah exactly. But is it isn't eighteen forty four close of probation? Okay. So yeah, let's Yeah, that the was their close of probation. Well, yeah, that uh, one thing I Kind of remember, I'd have to look at my notes to really refresh, but I think um, 1850 is the Sunday law for the Millerites. Yep. And, and then 1863 was their, would have been their um, second advent. Yep. And I remember they put 1844, close of probation, on our Raffia line. They did that at one time. I don't know if that was changed. So, so what was 18, um, 1850? Sunday law. Sunday law. Okay, thank you. And then what else? I'm going to put these items in here so we have markers. It's the 1863 is the second advent, isn't it? Yes. Okay, um, what, what else? So then we must be, Rafi and or, uh, we must be somewhere in between those two, what do you think? Oh, well, no, no, before the Sunday law, aren't we? We're before the Sunday law. Yeah, we would have to be before. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. I remember. Because I was thinking of our Sunday walk. I, I just was going to say, I remember that on our line, they put 1844 close of probation at Raffia at one time. Yeah. You know, I, well, get I think what we have to be careful, I think what we have to be careful is not to get confused with what's the fractal and what's the main line. Yeah. I think we've got to keep those two separate because Right now, I think 1844 is a close of probation, and I think 1850 is Sunday law, but Sunday law comes before close of probation, right? Yeah, 1844 would be on their priest line. It doesn't show up on their big line. Right. Right, and, and it, you're it, right. It, it's like the cross, how the cross doesn't show up on the line of the 144,000. Oh wait, it does to some degree, I guess. Okay, so it, if that's the case, I mean, that is the case, Sunday law does come before close of probation, then one of these two yeah. is incorrect. The 1844, you can't, with the line that you have, you can't actually put those waymarks in because you don't have five waymarks there. Your, your line actually ends in 1989, so this is not one of the lines where you can actually mark mm. those because you're looking at a different story, I think. Okay. Yeah, so that's, um, it's think, just yeah. a line of progression. I think so. Yeah, that might be the best way of describing it. So we should take these out. So you'd have to kind of cut them up. We could do that. What do you What do you guys think? Well, how should we approach this? Well, you would have to break it up because you have 1850 and 1888 on there, and they're both Sunday law. And 18, 1863 is the second advent, and you have way marks following the second advent, which wouldn't work out. So I don't. Okay. You'd need the midnight cry too before the Sunday law. Midnight okay. cry only shows up on the priest line. Well, it shows up in two different places, I think, doesn't it? Like there's a midnight cry after the, on the line of the 144,000. On our line, you have the loud cry following the Sunday law, but on the fractal line, you have a midnight cry on the priest priest line before um when is it i don't know i'm confused now <laughs> uh. okay so help me let's um where are we going to cut this line is that what we want to do is cut this line okay, so. what if i I wonder how hot. it's like 11 o'clock almost. It's hot in the house. There's no room in the fridge. Cannot put them outside with a raccoon running around. Ooh, sorry. Oops. So I was just wondering is the 1844 like the cross also like uh, our close of probation like Raffia? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I think if you were going to cut the line, you'd have to cut it at 18, 1863. So is uh, that what we want to do? Cut well, the line? you can't do that because then you would have a line starting with 1881 or I'm not sure what. Well, um, well, you would just like double it. Like, so you would wrap it around and then it would start. So if we cut it at 1863, then the new line would start at 1863, right? So one would end at 1863 and the other one would start at 1863. That kind of, I'm using that as an example. I'm not sure if, if that's where we want to cut it, but. Sure, I see another issue on the line as well. The, okay. the 1260 you have running from 1798 to 1844. Mm-hmm, wait, yes. Oh, the 1260 just has to go over to the other line, I guess, yeah. 46 stays there. That doesn't go there, does it? Oh, I found some notes. Uh-oh, awesome, awesome. from um, Hess in Portugal. Oh. 
That look right? Yeah, and the what I have here is, um, let's see, 1798 would be the time of the end. Um, 1840 would go with 9-11. 1850 was the Sunday law, and then their close of probation was 1861, because that's when they were supposed to make the, you know, commitment about um, getting on the right side of slavery. And um, then 1863 was the second advent. Okay, and um, I missed these two, so what was 1844? Well, it didn't have 1844 on this line that I have on my notes. Okay. Yeah, I think 1844 is a, 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 another line and then the story of Fractal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So should I take so, this off? Yeah. Okay. And is, Sunday, is 1850 that, still Yeah, that's correct. I think that's correct. That is Sunday law. But then we have then, but then we have to put a, the close of probation between 1850 and 1863. Yeah, and what I put on my notes from the Portugal presentation was um, 1861. Is that close of probation? And is that the beginning of the Civil War? 1861. Yes. <clears throat> like that? Now, if I do something that doesn't, it, that you didn't say or doesn't look right, um, you guys got have to speak up. So let, keep me on track. Okay. So then when their lines were put up to uh, parallel to that, uh, 2019 fell uh, where 1861 was. So that'd be Rafia. Yeah. So then 2020 would be between, midway between um, 61 and 63, 1861 and 1863. Like that? 2019 lined up with this? No, 2019 lines up with 1861 and 1862. Okay, so is the, um, the 2019, is that close to probation? Um, yes. And so this would have to be second advent? This is, are you, are you, are you lining these up with the top line? Is that what you're doing? I'm lining them up with, um, with that cut line so that, um, so 1863 is 2021. It's 1863 is, uh, 2021 is the equivalent of, like 2019 is the equivalent of a, October 22nd, 1844. It's a different close of probation on a fractal line. So we can't line 2019 up with 1861. Well, that's the note, those are the notes I took from the presentation that Tess did in Portugal. Right, but is that, are, are we looking at um, the reform line or are we looking at the fractal? Yeah, like they don't. Well, I guess their fractal compared to our fractal. Because I think, because we're, we're, we're missing, I, I think we're mixing the two together. Yeah, we are. 
18, if you're the, the line that's already there is just the history of the Millerites. It has all the way marks, but it's not a reform line. A reform line would only have five major way marks. Well, and I thought cutting it. No, because we, it's not, you can't cut it because it's not actually a, I guess you can cut it, but I don't, it's, <laughs> when you're, I think we're mixing methodologies up too, because when you cut a line, you're taking a progression and then you're making a line upon line. Yes. And so where there's only certain places that you can cut a line. Mm -hmm. uh, so 1989, for, uh, the first, the beginning of the line starts with 538. So we couldn't actually start there unless you count 1798, in which case we would cut the line at 1989 and pull that under. Right. But the, pro the problem with that is, is that the top line, it has, well, I guess you could still do it. It has way marks that are not major way marks, but I guess you could still do a line upon line. But when you do that, that 1989 would, would come under 1798. Um, and then you, you still have a mix of a reform line with a fractal line with the dates that are on there. I think that's what Brother Fell was saying. Yeah, we have two lines that are mixed. Which is all right. That, that, that line as it is is fine because it's showing all the key way marks in a progression. Um, I just don't, I'm not sure how. Here's one thing. Yeah. Okay, I mean, so. I, I'm not, I mean, personally, uh, I'm not too well versed to mix two together uh, I, and see the separation. Uh, I'm not there yet. <laughs> so I can either you know, we can either say this is a fractal or we can say this is a, a reform line. And right now it's just mixed. And I, I think, think that's the, where my I confusion think, is. What you could do though, is if you cut the line at, seven, at 1989, bring that down to like put 1989 below 1798, your 2019 would then go below, Octo uh, would go below 1844. And your 2021 would go somewhere between 1844 and 1850 because these are fract those two dates are fractal closes of probation and second advents, whereas 1863 is, was a literal second advent on their big line. Do you know what I mean? Right on the reform line, yeah. So 2019 and 2021 would go there, and then all we could do then is put put Sunday law without a date below 1850 because we don't have a date for our Sunday law. And then you would put close of probation and second advent without dates on the line below, directly below the ones that are above. Well, the presentation that Tess gave compared their fractal to our fractal. Yeah, you can compare those two, but the dates, the dates on their fractal on the, I guess like what you would call their priest line would be 1798 um 1840 which would be their 911 on the fractal line 1844 would uh sorry um what did they have as their fractal sunday law 1850 yeah that was the fugitive slave act right no but yeah. that's that's their literal sunday law on their big line they wouldn't line yeah. up with the line yeah, yeah so on their they'll so just 2014 is our uh, Sunday law on our fractal line. But eight, eight, you've had 1850 is both the Sunday law on the, their big line and also the Sunday law on their priest line that wouldn't work out because they're not the same line, right? It all has to right. be fractal down smaller. Right. So the, what, I, what I see here is 1798, 1850, and 18, I don't know about 1861, but th those three, 1798, 1850, and 1863 are the big lines. It, it's, the, it's the main reform line. And those so, three. Um, you know, it's possible that I just picked um, too much stuff, like the wrong line. What if we edit this i mean can we edit this and still have a modern israel line uh by taking like um 1989 off and 538 and 
get it down to the five main way marks for the Millerite history. Well, yeah, we like, can do that. I think you would first have to break up the Millerite line into their big line and their fractal line, and then we could also then we could repeat that with the 144 and the priest line. Okay. That's so how do, do we want to do? Do we want to do that? Is, would that make it um, work better? I think, I think that so. might be what we're supposed to do, because we yeah. can't find ourselves on on. Uh, aren't we supposed to find ourselves in our own history, not their history, or we're supposed to figure out where where we are now? Like like what's going on here? Where are we on that in that line? You know, based on based on their history, based on their ha history, and what happened there. Where are we right now? That's Wouldn't we be be between 1844 and 1850? Or no? Uh, no. Where would we be then? Because 1844 is a fractal and it's a closer probation. So I, I think, I mean, for me personally, um, if we, as Brother Jonathan, was, uh, as Brother Jonathan said, uh, make a, a reform line with five way marks and then, and then make a priest line, fractalize that, and then make the 144,000. So we need to make, I think we just need to break this up into the re main reform line to a fractal instead of just putting all of it together. So 1798, 1850, 1863, that is the uh, beginning of modern Israel reform line. Okay, so which dates I want? 1798? Yeah, 1798. That's the time of the end. Sorry. Sister Christine, are you working during the day too? Yeah, <laughs> or else I would have I would have tried doing this uh, during. I I only had like a, an hour and a half this morning to work on it before work. God bless you. <laughs> hey, you did a good job. Thanks. <laughs> okay, hey, so I we, just I think I just remembered what two FP is. Oh, so great! I think Yay. it's the two false prophets. Oh, okay. The false prophets. Um, unfortunately, I can't remember their names. It was one of them? Smir I can't remember what their names are now. Oh, but false. Oh no, that wouldn't be it. False. Yeah, the yes. two false prophets that they met. Um, oh, the along the way, Elizabeth. No, was that yeah. Elizabeth? Yeah, I don't know. Something like that, maybe. The wizard. Okay, so what was this right? And then 1863. And um, this is Sunday law, so it goes in the middle, is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay. And then um, 1863? Is at the end, the second advent. Oops. Okay, and then we've got, so that's, so we have the what day would nine eleven be? I, I yeah, I'm not sure about the nine eleven and and close 18, the probation. Eighteen forty on their big line was their nine eleven because that was Islam and the baptism, I guess, whatever you call it. Eighteen forty. Is what it would be. And 1844 doesn't show up on their on their main. I think, I think she's got to change the date. She thinks she's just got to use that as her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yay. And that would be 911. This is not. So we're going to make this as 911. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. And then you said 63. 1861. No, 
and that would be their deprivation. That was the beginning of the Civil War? What was yes. 1861? Yeah. Yeah, beginning. And the Civil War was the beginning of the Seven Plagues and the Judgment. Can you repeat that? What is 1861? What was the event for their close of probation? Beginning of the Civil War. Oh, yeah. Um, but that was external. Why would that be for the Millerite history? Um, because, oh, good point. It, it, it's still the right date. I'm trying to think of. Um, good point. Yeah, okay, so. Oh, rejection. What happened? Huh? Oh, okay, we're trying to figure out what happened, yeah. Um, oh, was, oh, so was it rejection of the, was this internal organization and rejection of the message? Yes, that's internal. And so are we trying to do internal or external or both? I think um, internal was how, we, how we're finding ourselves on the line. I don't know. Okay. We could probably do both, right? Yeah. I would think so. Okay, so um, okay, let's let's ignore this part for right now. And um, let's make sure that so all of this is correct, yes? Yeah. Okay. I believe so. Okay, and there was um Jonathan, you were saying a, a second line that we were going to line up with it? So we'll put their fractal line down. Their fractal line will begin at 1798 and it ends before 1850. It ends, it'll be like kind of just a, a spot about two thirds between that space. So can I, can I, are you okay if I delete some of the, the items from here? Yeah. Do, we, do we need to know when James White died? I, I don't think so. No, because that comes after 1863 anyway, so I think. Yeah. <clears throat> or did it? Yeah, I think it did, didn't it? Um, and then, so you said, I'm sorry. Uh, so the fractal is between. 1798. And 1850? No, before, before 1850. Okay, so I need another line down here. Yes. It'll be, it'll be a, a, a fractal. So that line would end um before 1850 that's pretty close there, I think, because, you, yeah. And where we are we going to, uh-huh. Um, and then 1798 is the same and 1840 is the same. So if I just copy these two and put them on the line? Yeah, that'll, that'll work. And then everything kind of gets crammed up because we're doing it to scale okay. with the top line. So it makes kind of sense. And okay. um, after, after 1840, you would have July 1844 and October 1844 as, so July 1844 was their Sunday law, midway, I guess. And I honestly, I don't know what the, how 
I'm looking at notes that it, from Tess's study um, on the American expansion. And she had July and October of 1844 as those two waymarks, and then there was no date for the second advent on that line. And this was July, right? Yeah. You could probably drag that bottom line, like if you click on it and just grab it from the right side and pull it a little bit longer. This one? Yeah. If you, there you are, I guess. Um, say when. So that's. Uh... You could probably go to like two. That's probably good there, I guess. It just gives you a little more space. And so the end of, so you'd have, yeah, two more waymarks in there, I guess. But, they, but it's going to be before 1850. Yeah, right? because our, the priest line on our line ends at Panium, which is before Sunday Law. And so their line also ends before Sunday Law. There's a waymark, there's a waymark. which would be their, the fractal second advent, which for us is at Panium. Does that make sense to everybody? Like, it, is this? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Would the next waymark be uh, August 1844? It would be October. October. S yeah, so um, July was midway, wasn't it? Um, trying to think of how. If it, yeah, if it's midway, then you have to have two more, right? Because you got you have one before you got, it. You have, you have August. Two. August, I think it's August 1844, and then October 1844. No, July is midway, so it's April. Isn't it April? April. Or, April. Yeah. I so think, one I on one right. side. Of, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think you're right. April was the disappointment, April 19th. Right. Um, that, one's, that one's actually October. I get it. Okay. That's their close of probation, right? Which is their second last waymark. August, I, I'm just thinking, Brother Fell, like, um, you're right. But I'm trying to remember back to the studies, whether or not the beginning waymark, if, like for that midway study, whether the two waymarks that on either end, the book ending waymarks, that give us midway, whether they were a part of the line or not, or whether they were just there to identify midway, which was Sunday law. Because Tess didn't put them on, on, on the, the American expansion, which was like Portugal, um, Portugal 85. She's, she's actually drawing out the fractal line here. And it's called fractal one is what she called it. And what's currently on the board is what she had. So I'm almost wondering if that August, or what is it? Ju what was the date that came before July? April, that's right, you already said yeah, that. Yeah, April, yeah. So I, those two dates, I think they bookend it and they identify the Sunday law, but they weren't actually waymarks on the fractal line. And I'm not sure if we had the exact thing on ours because we were spiritual. We didn't need a literal two dates to identify that. I don't know. It's a good question. I'm not sure how to answer it. But so that's the fractal. So that's the full Millerite reform line and that's the full fractal one line, which would be like our priest line. Okay. So it doesn't require five waymarks here. It does. Like you could throw a waymark on the end, but Tess did not, she just had a question mark over it because there wasn't a date that she had for the for their close of probation because they actually failed their close of probation test. So they didn't actually get a second advent on their line because they had already, at that point, they, um, they were scattered until 1850 when the second chart came out. So this was just a question mark, this last one. Yeah. And her, her reasoning for it was because they failed. So there was no date. It's not that we don't know the date. It's, it's just that there was none because they had failed their they had already begun to fail. 
And this is one of the things when we're comparing Millerite line with our line, we, ha we have to remember that the Millerite line was the line of failure and ours was the line of success. So you're going to have these de deviations like we're not going to have an 1888 on our line because our line will be a line of success, which we'll achieve it the first time around. Okay, so these two lines are good? I believe so. Okay, so do we, um, we just want to, okay, so we are definitely between 1850, I mean before 1850 because of the Sunday law? Yeah, and where, where you have July and October, yeah. July and October should be in black and then above those you would have uh, Sunday law above the July one and then close a probation above the October one, just to keep it consistent. Okay, um, Everything else that you had there. Ah, I don't know what I've done wrong. <laughs> okay. Oopsie. There we go. Doesn't want to change. <laughs> yeah, it, it's I'm not selecting it correctly. Um, so tell me again, what what um text should be here? Sunday Sunday law. So July is Sunday law. No, July stays the same, but you want to turn that black because that's just the date, July eighteen forty four. But all your red things there are marking which line, which way mark it is. And so yeah, above July you would put a red SL for Sunday law. And then above that one. Isn't it July 21? I think so, yeah. I think that was the day, wasn't it? Okay. So Belai, be, above July, it's Sunday Law. Yeah, in red. So that would be like our 2014. And then the October is our close of probation, or is the close of probation yeah. here? Yes. Cool. All right. What's missing? Anything? Um, looks good. So we have two separate lines. Are we get so are we in two different spots? One here and then one there. We would be on the fractal line. We'd be between Sunday law and closer probation. Oh no, sorry. Would be between closer probation and the second advent. Yeah. Yeah, because we've our closer probation was November 9th. So this is second advent too, right? Yeah. Okay, where does this go? Oh, somewhere, somewhere in between closer probation and second advent, wherever we think we are, are we more than halfway be between Rafi and Panium right now? Because those two way marks at the end of that line would essentially be Rafi and Panium, but I don't think we can really call it that. Oh, on that line there, we would be, we would be, it would be the same spot on both the lines. It would be. It would be to the left before 1850 on that big line. Because remember that big line is like the line of the 144,000. Uh, okay, now that's making sense. Thank you. <laughs> okay. so everything, yeah, everything will line up in the same spot because we put it to scale. Gotcha. Okay, so let's do this one first. So you're saying we're right in here. Somewhere in there, yeah. Yeah. And, um, Okay. Now, now it's making sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. So do we need any of this other stuff? 
I don't think for these lines. I mean, you could, you can put some of that information in, but I don't think it's. Is it helpful? I, I don't, like the gatherings and the scatterings you can only put in on that top line. The bottom line, I don't think it, it doesn't work out that way because the beginnings and ends of the, uh, the scatterings are not necessarily waymarks. Okay. So should we just go with these two lines then? And delete I think all this? So. Okay. And then if you want to do, I don't know if your plan was to do modern Israel, then you would just duplicate that and change all the dates. Um, isn't the, this is modern Israel, right? This is, this is, this oh, is the beginning. Yeah, it's the beginning <laughs> of modern Israel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so if you want to do our line, uh, end of modern Israel. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. So I can delete all this, right? We don't need any of that. Any objections? No. <laughs> Sound hesitant. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all, all good it's all, work. <laughs> yeah, it's all good information, and it's right. It's still right on a progressive progression. Yeah. Yeah. What do I do? You know, uh, well, you can rub it out if, if you uh, run, running out of space. I got a question before you rub it out. When you have one twenty six on top of this line with an S. Is that a scattering? Yeah, the S stands for scat, um, scattering. Okay, so this whole time period between 1863 and 1989, okay. Yeah. Oh, we, we don't have to rub it out. Are we gonna add, um, do our um, modern yeah. so you could, on a different page? You could grab, well, you can scroll down. You can grab that whole thing uh, on the bottom, the bottom two lines and duplicate it or I'm not sure what your options are. And then just, yeah, if you duplicate it and then bring one directly down and bring it directly down. And this would be the end of modern Israel. And then all you would do is change the dates. 1798 would be 1989. Eighteen forty would be two thousand one. Oh, why did it do that? <laughs> <laughs> why, yeah, why did it want to be big? <laughs> why would it do that? And then we don't know the the dates for the rest of them, so you just take the num the dates of it, I guess. Well, isn't that twenty fourteen? Sunday law? It is on the fractal, but not on, on the, the big fractal. One. Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah, when, we go to, when we go down to the priest line, then we'll put that 2014. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to, okay. So would this be the priest line? Yeah. Yes. And so this is. And so right here, this is going to be 2014. Yeah. Yes. And you can take July out. And then that's November 9th, uh, 2019. Second advent is what, 2021, I guess, is all we have on that. And so already we've surpassed um, where the Millerites got to because we've, we, we were successful on our, well, I don't know what you'd call it, like our test, our close of probation. It was a test, yeah. Yeah. We passed our test. Oh, 
I did that. <laughs> Okay, eventually I'm going to get myself a real mouse. So this is, okay, so this is the beginning of modern Israel and this is the end of modern Israel? Yeah. And so if you went back up to your, your, your long progression line. This one. We can yeah. still, or we can, well, actually we can mark ourselves better in there now because we've, because of what we've done, because of what we did. So we actually know where we are on their, on their line. So here, or somewhere, in there, yeah. somewhere in here. Yeah. Probably more towards like almost like dead in or what is that Sunday line? It would be more to the left actually. It would be like past the middle to the left because why? Because um, because eighteen forty four. It would be like their fractal line. Oh no, that's not right either. Never mind. But it would be further. It'd be. I guess the center is about right. I just think of like Panium being in between those two way marks, mm -hmm. and then it would be between 1844 and that way mark. But that that looks about right anyway. Yeah. Comments, anyone? So we have. Um... Okay, we've got the beginning of modern Israel. We've lined it up with the end of modern Israel. We found ourselves here and here, and then on the progressive line right there. Any comments to the contrary? Did you see something that we missed or it's not lining up the way you think it should, or it's, it's good to talk about it now. No, I think this a looks question. good, but what does it mean? I also have a question. Does it matter that we add, I mean, we, we know it's fractal because we're saying it, but if we were to look at it again, I guess we'll remember, but where the bottom of the time of the end, 1798, and the time of the end, 1989, and the bottom of the fractals, do we write fractals or is it a given that we all know it's a fractal? I think that you could, yeah, you could put priest next to the bottom short line and then fractal one is what Tess put for the, mm -hmm. the other short line. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point because if we look at this again, we might not realize what it's talking about. And on the big line on the bottom, you could put 144,000 on the big line on the top. I, I don't know what you'd call it. Okay, so this bottom line here, I want to put Priest? Yeah. Okay. And what do I want to put on this one? On this one. That's the hundred and forty four. I didn't spell that right today. P P R I E S T. You okay. missed me. There we go. Thank you. This is very helpful. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you for um, talking.
talking and, and sharing all this. This is great. Okay. And what, what do we put on these? Is it also so that, that would be the Millerite. Right, and then is that the Protestants? This one, or I don't know. Top the bottom. I, yeah, so that would be the Millerite. Is this Ellen White? I think the big line would be the Millerite line. And then yeah. what Tess called the bottom, the fractal for the Millerite line, she just called it fractal one because she had no name for it. Mm. Because 1863 was when the Seventh Day Adventist Church was established, which would have, which would have never had to have happened had the Millerites been successful at their at their goal. Um, they would there would have never been, had to have been an organized Seventh Day Adventist Church. You may not have spelled fractal. Al at the end. Al, thank you. All right. Good, good. So um, thanks for speaking up on, on the fractal lines and um, making sure that we're labeling our lines correctly so it doesn't get confusing. Because uh, we are going to share these with other people. And so we want to make sure that it's clear not just to those of us who are sitting here, but also those who will be uh, looking at these presentations because, you know, They'll get shared far and wide, right? If um, if God so chooses, but we want to make sure that uh, everything is labeled correctly. When I think about sharing this with, like, I guess with Levites, the top two lines, the Millerite line and the Fractal line, will make sense to them once because we can teach them history. Uh -huh. But the bottom two lines are going to be really difficult because they're really going to want to know about these dates. And when you think about 2014, trying, you know, on our on our priest line, trying to explain to a Levite why that's a Sunday law on a fractal line. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, they don't know what a fractal is. And second of all, 2014, like, wh why do we call that Sunday law on our line? Was that because uh, it was a test of leadership, right? And Parminder, it's when Parminder brought in the message on time setting and it was rejected i don't know if i'm correct on that or not but that's they're gonna be is like that, oh, is, is that the reason for the sunday law for 2014 uh because of the change of leadership or was it because of steve bannon well this is on externally it was steve bannon internally it had to be 2014 was when parminder the second angel essentially came onto the scene not came onto the scene Right. Okay, so that that makes sense, but I, I guess I'm getting confused. My my thought, because you were talking about the Levites, mm -hmm. it would be, I would think that it would be better to speak about external events because it's something that they 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 experience themselves mm -hmm. with external events. Because we talk about Parminder, it's like who's Parminder? That's right. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. Like, they're gonna be like, well, who's Parminder? And well, why does it matter? Yeah. And why are we in setting, you know, but you're right, maybe. Um, it doesn't but, seem like we have to teach them our line, because our line doesn't have anything to do with them. I think it'll be the external events mostly. And because they're Adventists, anyhow, um, the external events mean something to them. I guess one thought, though, that I just kind of had was, isn't it going to be important for them to understand why we're time setting? Because we're going to be showing them lines and what they need to understand, what they'll need to know is the lines, not only the lines of what, of uh, the parts of the line that have already happened, but we're also going to be showing them these waymarks that are going to happen in the future. And that we're going to have information and knowledge of these waymarks before they happen. And so in order to be able to do that, they have to understand, don't they have to understand time setting? Because that's what we're doing. Won't the um, 
FFA's false prediction also play a part in the time setting thing? Well, I'm agreeing with you, Jonathan, but won't we have to, um, won't that bring us sort of some exposure to or not? But I, I, I think that's correct. I, I agree. What? Um, about the time setting. But the thing is, I, I, I think, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I would think that if, if we want to prove time setting externally, like, like, uh, like Josiah Litch did, you know, August 11th, 1840, that's what he predicted, that we too are going to predict a date where yes. certain thing will happen. Yes. That that's why we're a, working which, on that history right now. Right, which will be an impetus to take this to the world and say, this is what God has given us, this is what we said, and this is what came true. All right. So what do you think? Um, we feel like this is uh, pretty clear. Yeah, I think it looks good. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think it looks very good. Do we have any more comments on the, okay. I do. Yeah. No? Is, is the red line where we are on these lines? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so we've determined that. Yeah, so that's where what we're saying in each of these where I, I'm putting the big red line is uh, where we're saying this is where we are. Okay, so next one we have, oops, it's because I, I haven't zoomed in. Okay, 144,000. So is this one easy? <laughs> I hope so. Because this one should be easy, right? I mean, should it should it not go right here? Yeah, so yeah, for us, yeah between Raphia and Panium, 2019-2021, yeah. Does it, anybody disagree? Shouldn't it go closer to Panium? Because we're only six months away from 2021. Yeah, but we don't know where in 2021, because it's not going to be January 1st, 2021, right? So it could be anywhere in here? Anywhere in the middle, yeah. Yeah, and Parminder, uh, Elder Parminder said that we were one quarter of the way there. So, uh, somewhere in there. <laughs> All right, any, any objections? Should we go on to the next one or should we talk about this one? So, Sister Christine, I know we're marking it red, so we know that's where we're at, but should we have like a, what do you call that? Not a table card, but you know how, it, what yeah. that red line means Yeah. as of, you know, July 8th, this is where we're thinking. Same thing with the previous page. I know we mark, mark the red line, mm -hmm. but should so it be like what, a, what should we call it? But something in the bottom that says what that red line means. Not a table of what is that one when you're drawing a map and you legend. know, uh, legend. legend, yes, legend. thank you. So, but what we're saying that as of July 8th, 2020, that's where we're marking us to be. I don't know what that would be called.
What's up? And I'll, I'll put it on each of the different pages. Thank you. Yeah. Before, before it gets sent out. Okay. So here we have the priest. And um, let me know if there's too much in here. So there, I, like I said, I, I pulled all these lines out from other presentations. I picked out the ones with the most information. If there's too much information, we can always uh, delete things. Um, you know, what, whatever doesn't work. So what do you think of this priest line? We have the five way marks, the uh, four dispensation areas. And then we have a um, fractal on here. Should any of this be removed? I don't think it should be removed. Um, because that's the line that's that's what we're all familiar with this history mm -hmm. um, that's my opinion someone might know better though um uh, a question though yeah um seventeen 98 over oh, we, over 2014 we could take that out because that um she was making a point and that's definitely not needed here because okay we're mixing things so i think that should be um, okay now that makes better sense i'm glad you did that <laughs> yeah so <laughs> like with all of these uh you know this is all board work right and you know, Tess will be making a point somewhere here or there. And so if you see things like that, you have to point them out. And so let's say we've got 1989, 9-11, 2014, 2019, and Pentium. And so we're still thinking this is 2021. We've got um, increase of knowledge, uh, formalization of the message and test for each of the different uh, dispensations plowing, early rain, latter rain, harvest. And then for this fractal from 2014 to 2019, we have the increase of knowledge at 2016, formalization of the message at 2018. We have a Boston, Boston Concord Exeter test. And the and closed door. And the closed door, yeah. Yeah, now this all, all makes sense. So we're, <clears throat> we're between 2019 and Panium. So since we don't know, we're just like sticking it right but around. We haven't had the increase of knowledge yet, right? Because isn't the increase of knowledge on Islam? You know, I don't know that we really know does anybody really know what where what the increase of knowledge is yeah until does anybody really know yeah that's why i think that barney needs to go behind uh, on the other side of the increase that's keen but i thought the increase of light comes on islam but the thing is, is no the knowledge that we're getting has been increasing from the beginning from 2019 right and going up yes to you're the right of the message and we're not gonna we don't know yet because the message hasn't been formalized and remember when okay so what remember when it got formalized in 2018 when was that that was um, 2018 when elder Tess stood up and started presenting the acts 27 right and um, yes. we, didn't, we didn't realize that the message was being formalized until she was doing it, right? Yes. So well, I'm, I'm, I don't think we really even totally understood the full extent of what we were witnessing at that exactly. moment. So I'm just talking through this and correct me if I'm wrong, but 
can it be that the increase of knowledge is happening right now and until we until the formalization of the message happens well, listen, uh, until it's uh, actually presented uh, yeah, I, I agree. The knowledge is continue to increase. It just hasn't been formalized. I, I agree too. Yes, that and makes also, sense. yes. Excuse me. Um, the thought about uh, deepening this uh, racism thing, and um, also that was mentioned about um, uh, it is organization. I mean. That's just starting to come out. So we've was, got so, yeah, we've got so many different things. There's organization, racism, sexism, um, yes, homophobia, and Islam. Uh, do do any of us know really what the message is going to be? And the but, test, we don't know what the test is either. Right, exactly. But we know that we are getting an increase of knowledge on every one of these. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's a fair spot to put it where you have it. Because it's right in the middle, 2022. Okay. So, um, uh, if I, if I, I, I'm just voicing my thoughts, but, um, it, correct me if I'm wrong and don't let me step on anybody's, you know, like, Tell me what you think too. So do we, do we have any more comments on the priest one? Do we, we feel comfortable with this one? Yeah, I think this is good. Yeah, I do too. All right, let's see. What do we have next? Um, I have I'm, a question. Yeah, it's it's a dumb question. Um, we we're on an increase of knowledge now, but we are not at all in the latter rain at all anymore. Is that right? Repeat that. We're not in the latter. We don't have. We're not in the latter rain message at all anymore. We're we are officially in the harvest. But remember, we're we're on two different lines. Right? Now I'm looking at this line here. This is the priest line. Yeah. So for and the priest line, we're just in the harvest. So the latter rain is completely finished now. Mm. For the priest. For the priest. For, line. for the for the priest. But not yeah. for the 144,000. No, no, I, I realize that. I'm only talking about the priests for us. Okay. Yes. We're priests. And so it's completely finished. There's, we are s seriously not at all in the latter rain time period or message at, at any breath at this moment. I understand your question. I, I, I think others probably understand your question because. Allie, that's why you're having a. Sorry, Susan, you cut out on me. You're having a difficult time seeing that the latter would be over. Oh, maybe it's my. I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. It's kind of your microphone is cutting in and out. We're hearing you, and then we're not. Yeah. Sorry. It's not your fault. I, I understood her uh, question. Okay, cool. So, so anyways, my question is like, we are absolutely not in the latter rain time period at all anymore, right? that's my understanding correct that we're in the harvest part of um, the priest thank you i know the line says that but i just wanted to verbalize yeah, yeah no i get it i because we still ask for the latter rain don't we um i don't 
Are we okay. supposed to? Um, well, are we, where are we on the 144,000? Oh, okay. Let's see, where, where'd that line go? <laughs> so on the 144,000, we're still in the early rain, right? Yes. Oh, okay. But we're not there yet. If we're still in the early rain till the Sunday law, the latter rain is just, is this time period of the increase in knowledge, loud cry? Yeah. Okay, I understand. Okay, good, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Sister Susan, even though I didn't hear you. So I'm missing the Diadoki Wars. I know there's tons out there, but um, I, I, I couldn't wrap my mind around what to grab this morning. So does anybody here have that where they could um, put it in the chat and we could um, populate this for now or should we move on to the next one? Yeah, Daidoki War is, well, there's one, two, three, and four, right? So Which corresponds to World War One and World War Two. So do you think, so, did she mean like um, where we fit on each one of them? So we would have to write out each of the different four Diadoki Wars and find ourselves on each of the different ones? Or, because uh, I, I guess I was looking for a line with just one Diadoki War, I mean, one line that encompassed them all, but are you thinking that it should be each, each all four of them? What do you think? Oh, well, that was my, I, I really don't know. <laughs> All I know is Daidoki Wars, it is complicated. Yeah, yeah. Complicated. There's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. What about at the end? Because um, it, true enough, there's a lot of dates, a lot of information with the wars, but with Pyrrhus, you know, we understand King of the South, King of the North, and when he comes to his end where he's killed we know what that is on a line on our line because he represents putin or russia or something king of the south is that how you want to look at it because that would pinpoint more so where we are on that line yeah that's a good point um do we have that line i don't Think. Okay, um, it's 10 to 8. Um, let's see. So we're not going to be able to finish all of them today anyway. So we'll definitely have to come back to this. So what we do is um, do some research uh, or um, do some searching and find out, find the ones that were missing and we'll come back and continue. And I think we'll have to, we'll do that with the Diadoki Wars and we'll uh, go and get all four of the different uh, lines and the Pyrus one and, and, and do that. We might just end up with quite a few pages for the Diadoki Wars. And I, I agree with you, if we can pinpoint ourselves with Putin um, on the Pyrus and Diadoki War line, then we have a better idea of where we are. So we'll come back to that one. And those, the uh, World War One and World War Two, uh, I was having the same issue. With, there was just a lot of information, and then I found this for um, World War Three. It was a um, the document itself was called World War Three, Oops. and um, so I wasn't sure. I think I, I didn't get it all the way on the page there. But I think we should cover that one at the same time as World War II. I wasn't sure if this was the World War II, because I was looking for a, a graph, a line where it talked about the front and, um, you know, the, it said the east and the west, the front of the line. So I wasn't really happy with this line. So I'm, I'm ready to skip that one too and, and work on maybe like something like this or I'm not sure how late you guys want to go tonight because it's 10 to 8 and we've covered, I think we've covered quite a few. We've, um, we have done Acts 27. 
we did uh, modern and I don't know why things shifted, but uh, I, we've got modern and the beginning of modern Israel and the end of modern Israel. We have the 144,000, the priest. So that's four lines. I think we did good. Um, oh, could, could you show um, uh, Acts 27 again? Because I'm taking screenshots. Yeah, you can check. And um, for some reason, it shifted. I don't know what happened. So um, everything kind of jumped down. Thank you. Are, yeah. Do you, are you, do we have the notes? So we have the lines um, that we're gonna get the notes for the study tonight. Um, um you mean what we're doing tonight yeah yeah i'm gonna um i'm gonna clean it up a little bit like i'm gonna make sure that the line and the little key is over here that says uh this is where we believe we are i'm gonna make sure everything's centered and kind of cleaned up and then i will send out um the notes to uh sister lane and have her forward them out and then we'll just uh hopefully just keep continuing to work on this the same document and fill in those blanks. And so if anybody comes up with some good lines for the blanks, um, you know, go ahead and share them with uh, Sister Elaine and we'll uh, add them. I'm not sure when we'll go over these uh, again. So I don't know, like on Friday, if we'll be joining Australia again, or if we're not, this would, uh, that would be a good time to do it. Canada oh. meeting starts on Friday. Oh, yeah. that's right. Camp meetings. That's right. Okay, so definitely not this week. So camp meeting will be Friday, uh, Sabbath, and Sunday, and we'll all be joining that. And I'm um, so excited about that. We're really looking forward to the camp meetings. And well, so thank you for your thank you for your work in pulling these things up. It's very helpful for well, us to continue to study on our own with it. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for everybody who uh, spoke up and has uh, helped move things around and, and kind of solidify things. This is, uh, I, I could not have done this without your help. So thank you everybody for your participation. Thank you. God bless you. So who, um, does somebody want to pray? Okay. So I'll go ahead and pray. Um, dear Father in heaven, we are so grateful that you brought us all together in uh, fellowship this evening. It's uh, a lot of work to wrap our minds around the, the different waymarks and the histories and finding where we are on those lines today, but we know that it's important so that we can figure out what's coming and so that we, we can um, glorify you, Father, in our actions and our teachings and our words. We, we thank you again for being here with us. We thank you for blessing us. We thank you for uh, the healing that you're gonna give our sister um, Elaine, and we thank you for the blessings that you'll give us this week. We also like to pray for the Canada camp meetings that are coming up this uh, this weekend, Friday, Sabbath, and Sunday. We pray that you will bless these meetings, bless the audio, bless the recording, and the internet. That everyone around the world who wants to join in may join in. We um, we thank you, Father, for allowing us to use this technology to learn and grow and come together as a group, as a movement, as a fellowship in harmony with you and with each other. We praise you, Lord God, and we thank you again for all that you do for us, all of the blessings that you give us, and all the information that you share with us. We praise you. We thank you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua. Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, thank you.
Bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you.